Hello Beverly Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day or night. Um, it is already night here. You know that I am in Santorini. Today is my last night here. Tomorrow we are getting back to Athens where I'm going to be spending the next two days and then, well, I have no idea. Life is a surprise. So, I don't know. I will let you know later when I'm going next. You know, my grandmother is going to Germany on a couple of days. And then I, I'm just going to, like, explore a little bit. And then go to Germany as well to meet my family. So, that's going to be fun. I'm very excited to see where can I get uh, take you, you know. Because the whole idea is... You know, also explore the world, take you to new places. I want to go to places that I have not been before. So, let's see. Let's see what um, life has in storage for us. Um, as you know, and I told you the, uh, yesterday, like there is not much going on at night here. It's pretty much dead. You know, I don't know, people here go to sleep with the chickens or something. And it is what it is. All right, guys, so let's talk about the tea because we need to talk about the real housewife of New Jersey. Girl, there is an information going around and it pains me because it's related to Miss Danielle Cabral. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I mean, it's not like it's super bad, but it is bad. And somehow I feel that this information being out there is probably very much related to Margaret Josephs you know because or Melissa Gorga because those two are the ones who likes to you know not play too nice and if you have skeletons in the closet girl mm, 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 you get ready because they are gonna get out so maybe this is just like uh, Danielle getting to you know understand the housewife game you know and apparently she's being accused of defrauding her former uh representation okay so this is like a whole thing because apparently the person who helped her get her job on the real housewife it's now coming after her which it's kind of like interesting because I like I thought that Caroline Manso was the one who also helped her get her job so I don't know things are getting too complicated when it comes to be around Danielle why all the Daniels need to be involved in some kind of shit you know now the thing is like I really really like Danielle Cabral and I think she has a huge future on New Jersey so I hope that this is either or not true or not as bad as they're trying to put it out there okay so I'm gonna read this to you it says Danielle Cabral is being accused of defrauding her former representation event avant-garde communications group who helped secure her role on the Real Housewife of New Jersey. In May 3rd, in a May 3rd letter sent to Danielle and husband Nate Cabral, attorney James Leonard Jr., who also represents Teresa Judice, attorney Duncan Levy claims the couple blocked and ghosted his client and refused to pay them for getting her cast on the Bravo reality show. In the letter detail in a May 5th report from In Touch Weekly, Duncan said Ina Lapin, who runs Avant Garde Communications Group, is single handedly responsible for the casting. Miss Cabral owns Avant Garde, a commission under its very clear terms, yet, your client has refused to honor the contract she signed. The attorney wrote in his letter, now that Miss Cabral is on television, she has clearly decided she is above her contractual obligations and unrecognizing of anyone who may have helped her along the way. It is not only wrong, but it's a clear violation of their contract, he added. According to the report, Avangra Communication Group contact a casting director for Real House of New Jersey in May of 2021 and in January of 2022. They got a thank you email for the suggestion. Then, just three months later, Ina learned Danielle was in running. 
At that point, Duncan's letter explained Danielle, who joined the show in 2022 for season 13, allegedly blocked Ina from contracting her and failed to respond her numerous calls and emails. At the same time, Avant Girl Communication Group accused Nate of stiffing website designer Justin Nasarian, who created his business landing page. For his part, Mr. Cabral decided to skip out on paying the last five months of invoices for services related to search engine optimization, services that were undertaken to burnish his own public image, the attorney revealed in his letter. Duncan went on to demand Danielle and Nate pay up, saying that if they failed to honor their obligation to Avant Garde Communications Group and the web designer, he and his team will pursue all legal remedies. Girl. So, I mean, I don't know. There, there are many things to this, okay? So, do you think that maybe so do they did they sign a contract do you think that maybe she was like talking to this person and saying like oh i can maybe help you you know and then you know she make a call back in 2021 nothing never happens and then caroline manso talked to andy cohen and they they call again and then maybe they say like oh well if caroline manso know her then maybe we can actually cast her like, how, how do you think this whole thing works, you know? And maybe Danielle is saying, like, well, they didn't do anything. It was my Auntie Caroline, the one who actually got me the job. So why do I have to pay? That's also a possibility. Or, you know, like, we cannot discard this because it has happened so many times in Housewife. There is always someone that says, fuck it. I'm just not going to pay. I don't give a fuck. You know? So... <laughs> I mean, now the whole website situation, it's very much, I, I see it like, like, that has nothing to do with the Danielle situation. So why is like kind of like mentioning on the same thing, but I think it's just to being messy. Or do you think it was Caroline Manso the one behind this? Mm, remember that she's also like kind of like feuding with Danielle. Interesting. I don't know. How, what do you think guys do you think that someone is coming for danielle or do you think that danielle is just an asshole who doesn't want to pay uh, let me know what you guys think under the comments below and if you want to get all the tea related to the real housewife of new jersey or any of the other bravo shows make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you around see ya bye everyone mm -hmm.